After starting this module, you shall be able to know how investment projects are evaluated from the standpoint of society, learn the fundamental parameters in such evaluation, identify the different types of social cost and benefits. To begin with, when a public or private investment project is planned, developed and executed, a preliminary task of its appraisal is conducted. This is done to evaluate the workability or feasibility of the project. A private investment project generally evaluates the direct financial benefits taken into account the prospective investment cost and revenue during its expected lifetime. It does not, however, consider the impact of that particular product on a society as a whole. For example, commercial entrepreneur producing liquor while estimating the market price will not consider the cost which the society might be incurring with the introduction of liquor in the market. The cost not considered can be in terms of increase in road accidents, criminal activities or poverty and its negative impact on healthcare. This ignored cost is impacting the society in a significant way. If this on the other hand been a public investment project which instead of liquor proposed to construct a bridge, it would also have considered the social impact in terms of specific reduced, I repeat, in terms of traffic reduced, population displaced and other environmental implications. The social cost benefit analysis is a distinct methodology used for evaluation of such projects where social impact needs to be analyzed. This analysis, however, is not specific to public investments only. It may be applied to both public and private investment projects alike. SCBA plays pertinent role especially in developing economies where government has a significant role to play in attaining higher economic growth. The associated important key terms are social cost, social benefit, social profit. The first concept we discuss is social cost. The cost of goods when transported from one place to other private firm is said to incur transportation cost. Besides this transportation cost, there are certain costs which though ignored by a firm does have a serious impact on the society. These costs are related to the wear and tear of roads and pollution etc. These costs which has to be borne by the society comes under the head of social cost. The following are some of the examples of social cost for which business firm is responsible. Air pollution, water pollution, depletion and destruction of animal resource, soil erosion, deforestation, impairment of human resources, deterioration in the law and order conditions. The social cost may be divided into two broad categories social cost of staff, social cost of community and general public. Social cost of staff can be layoff and voluntary termination, extra hours put in by officers voluntarily, work related injuries, undesired attitude formation. Social cost of community and general public are increase in cost of living in the vicinity due to cement plants, consumption of state electricity services, central services and facilities consumed, state services and facilities consumed, expenditure in foreign exchange, environmental damage, product shortcomings. Next term we discuss is social benefits. The term Social benefits refer to the increase in the overall welfare of the community or society which is being derived from a particular course of action by a business firm or government 
other than the person who is receiving the benefit. For example, society gets benefited from public parks developed and maintained by government. Under SCBA, it is social benefit. The term social benefits in economics refer to the total benefit to society from producing or consuming a good service. Social benefit includes all the private benefits plus any external benefits. External benefit is cost or benefit that affects a party who did not choose to incur that cost or benefit of production consumption. If a good has significant external benefits, then the social benefit will be greater than the private benefit. The social benefits may be in the form of products and services provided, payment of taxes and rates, additional employees benefits, donations to the community, ancillary benefits, environmental improvements, etc. It may be studied under the following categories. Social benefits of staff are medical and hospital facilities, educational facilities, subsidized canteen facilities, provident fund, housing and township facilities, holiday, leave in cashment and leave travel benefits, recreational and cultural facilities. Social benefits of community and general public are local taxes paid to panchayat municipality, environmental improvements, generation of job potential, welfare activity for the community, business generation. In nutshell, the terms social cost and benefits are concerned with measurement of impact of the project on society, which may be positive or negative. The positive impact is social benefit and negative impact is social cost. In fact, when we evaluate a project from the point of view of the society or economy as a whole, it is called social cost benefit analysis. The last important term we study under this is social profit. The term may be defined as the excess of social benefits received by the society from the activities of the business over the social cost borne by the society attributable to the same firm or positive difference between positive impact and negative impacts on society. Next, we discuss about social cost benefit analysis. First, we will talk about the concept of this analysis. Generally speaking, the decision about a project should be taken only on the basis of three feasibility studies, that is technical studies, market studies and commercial studies. The firm generally draws an inference based on these studies and therefore it is said to be a project selection based on commercial criterion, that is monetary gains or losses, CBA. The firm motivated by the commercial return on its investment may or may not be concerned about its impact on the society. However, projects having economic importance for a nation or a society. Commercial viability can't be the only criterion to assess the project and thus will have to include social welfare aspect in the analysis. In order to consider the social welfare aspect, commercial cost and benefit analysis, CBA, will not be an appropriate tool. Social cost benefit analysis is thus the methodology used for evaluation of such investments projects. Now, coming on to the meaning of social cost benefit analysis. Social cost benefit analysis is a systematic evaluation technique for long-term decision making in capital projects appraisal. It is an analytical tool in decision making which enables a systematic comparison to be made between the social cost and related social benefits with due emphasis on technical and other feasibility studies but focusing more on social impact. 
in the context of plant economies the social cost benefit analysis aids in evaluating individual projects within the planning framework lastly under this analysis we will discuss about history the concept of social cost benefit analysis scba has been introduced by the french economist jules dupuit jules dupuit 18 may 1804 5th september 1866 was an italian born french civil engineer and economist the concept of cba dates back to an 1848 article by jules dupuit and was formalized in subsequent works by alfred marshall the corps of engineers initiated the use of cba in the us after the federal navigation act of 1936 which effectively require cost benefit analysis for proposed federal waterway infrastructure the flood control act of 1939 was instrumental in establishing cba as federal policy it demanded that the benefits to whomever they accrue should be in excess of the estimated cost next we will discuss about commercial cost benefit analysis versus social cost benefit analysis commercial cost benefit analysis cba is a tool or technique for project appraisal considering the total cost of the project cost and the expected future gains benefits from such specific project so cba is nothing but a profitability analysis the projects adopting cba does not take into account the impact in terms of cost and benefits that a society may have to bear or receive from such proposed project scba truly considers quantification of impact on society let us take an example of a commercial entrepreneur contemplating to take up a new project to manufacture cigarettes while evaluating the workability of the product he will simply look at its commercial profitability this product however also increases certain risk which the society has to bear which can be in terms of heart diseases or cancer this adverse impact of the product will not be analyzed by the commercial cost benefit analysis this social cost can be taken into consideration under scba only in the same example if the product had been soap instead of cigarettes it would have helped the society by reducing the risk of spreading of diseases and thus would have impacted the society in a positive way the core differences between commercial cost benefit analysis and social cost benefit analysis next we will talk about users of social cost benefit analysis every investment requires project appraisal which may be cba or scba cba is primarily in commercial projects however it still does not mean that scba is useful only for and is undertaken by government organizations it is true that scba is primarily for public investments by the government governmental and quasi governmental agencies but the technique is equally relevant for private sector especially in cases where they are subjected to government approvals licenses or grants and subsidies in fact public investments are inevitable in all the countries particularly in developing countries and so is scba scba is also important for private corporations who have a moral responsibility to undertake socially desirable projects use scarce natural resources in the best interest of the society generate employment and revenues to the national exchequer the indicators of social contribution include employment potential criterion 
capital output ratio output per unit of capital value added per unit of capital foreign exchange benefit ratio next we discuss that whether social cost benefit analysis is always required for public investment private investments are always subjected to commercial benefit analysis they are less concerned about its social aspects implications however it is not true in case of public investments public investments have greater impact on the welfare of society such investments invariably require some form of scba but what about the public investments where social benefits are clearly visible do they also need social cost benefit analysis to be conducted there are certain governmental projects where social benefits are clearly visible and tangible and hence in those specific cases there won't be any requirement of scba to illustrate the point let us take an example where government wants to start a hospital project in a region so as to provide medical facilities to the community at an affordable price if only commercial viability of the project is to be examined one can easily infer that expenses cost is likely to be significantly high this would be more prominent if it is a project of building charitable hospital considering the commercial norms firms generally adopts the project should straight away be discarded in this example if the project however is looked upon considering the impact this project will have on the society the analysis would surely be giving a different result in this case social benefits and social cost associated with hospital would also be taken into account and thus the probability of benefits exceeding the cost will be significantly high factors like how many people are suffering if the project is not undertaken would also be considered these are the factors which are taken into account only under scba extending this example if we further assume that this would be the first and the only hospital the region of a huge population would be having there would not be a need of scba being carried out since the benefits are clearly visible and tangible next we will talk about scope of scba it consists of commercial versus charitable and public versus private investment first we will discuss commercial versus charitable most of the investment projects necessarily involve long term heavy expenditure these may be either pure commercial like manufacturing of consumer products or purely for social purposes like a charitable hospital there may be a project which may serve both purposes for example a private hospital serves charitable motive in the form of general opd whereas the same organization earns profit from private opd secondly we will talk about public versus private investment scba can be applied to both public and private investments but the investment proposals to be considered in social cost benefit analysis are basically public investments rather than private investments the technique is important especially for the developing countries where government has to play a significant role in the economic development in case of public investments it is quite clear that scba is an inevitable tool like if a village has to be connected with the city it requires development of overall infrastructure besides considering constructing concrete roads for smooth connectivity and for movement of public and goods this type of project is not viable from the point of view of commercial feasibility in such cases government will have to take the initiative and to make the investment 
nowadays government is not the sole investor it may be in the form of triple p bot bolt etc let us take an example of delhi metro project as per the report of rites 2005 the total cost of phase 1 comprising 65.10 kilometers spread over 5 routes was estimated at rupees 6406 crore now it is a public project and government is always expected to proceed with this type of public venture but if we look at the sources of funding around 30% of total investments of dm are raised through equity capital with the government of india goi and government of the national capital territory of delhi gnc td having equal shares in it more than 60% of the funds required for investment are raised as debt capital the remaining 10% was estimated to be covered out of the revenues earned it means government has participated to the extent of 30% only one point which is pertinent to understand is that why scba besides in public investment projects is also carried out in private projects when entrepreneurs almost invariably focus on commercial feasibility of the project scba is important for private corporations which are bound by either moral responsibility to undertake socially desirable projects use scarce natural resources or those projects which are subject to subsidy or other similar support from the government scba thus is an important tool for the private investments which are to be approved by various governmental and quasi governmental agencies coming on to the approaches to scba it must be emphasized that there can be no definite principle which can be universally applied to convert commercial cost and benefits into social cost and benefits however the following two principal approaches are suggested for scba unido approach this approach focuses on consumption as the final goal of all investments and therefore the benefit and cost relating to a project are determined in terms of impact on consumption little merlis approach the little merlis approach determines the benefits and cost of projects in terms of investment the social cost and benefits are measured in terms of international prices apart from above some financial institutions like idbi ifci and icici are following simplified version of lm approach economic rate of return effective rate of protection and domestic resource test all these approaches have been discussed in detail in subsequent modules the following are some of the limitations of scba the advantage of social cost benefit analysis depends upon the accuracy of the data input there are certain public investments where the benefits are quite visible and tangible from the point of view of society in these cases scba is not required it is very difficult to measure social costs and benefits in a precise manner the application of this approach is subject to various assumptions which are the basic source of limitations the utility of approach gets diluted due to involvement of high degree of subjectivity the implementation of outcome of scba depends upon various factors like political scenario economic conditions risk of anti social evils environmental threats etc the term social cost is a sacrifice or detriment to society for example air and water pollution the term social benefits refer to the increase in the overall welfare of the community or society which is being derived 
from a particular course of action by a business firm or government other than the person who is receiving the benefit. For example, medical and hospital facilities provided by the firm. Every investment requires project appraisal which may be CBA or SCBA. Social cost benefit analysis SCBA is a methodology used for such evaluation of primarily public investments. It is a systematic evaluation technique for long term decision making in capital projects appraisal. Commercial cost benefit analysis CBA is a tool or technique for project appraisal considering the total cost of the project cost and the expected future gains benefits from such specific project. So CBA is nothing but a profitability analysis. In certain projects where social benefits are apparent, there is no need for SCBA. So where the social benefits are likely to be visible and tangible, there may not be any need to make SCBA on sophisticated basis and systematic manner. SCBA can be applied to both public and private investments. The two principal approaches are suggested for SCBA are UNIDO and LM approach. The limitations of SCBA include the accuracy of the data input, less applicability of the approach in developed countries, difficulty to measure social cost and benefits in a precise manner, dilution in results due to involvement of high degree of subjectivity.